Hi, I just want to explain this really quickly. So let's look at your material. And basically all the problems you can find in here. So I activate this. Okay. So I mean, first what we see is like you have these masks here and this is, this is totally fine. But what I would do instead of uh, adding all the stuff like the structure here to the texture coordinates and then mask it out, uh, I would do something different because what you get out of this looks like looks like this and this is not texture coordinates you want. What you want to do is um, disconnecting the texture coordinates here and doing these operations before like so so that you have your structure then you use your masks on the structure so that it looks like this like so and then you add this to the texture coordinates which will result in this you know you don't have big black borders here you want to have uh, you want to have your original uvs everywhere except where you add more information more um, distortion information right so this is the first one um, also i noticed that for some reason um, this does not work i, I think uh, you have to do it you have to mask it out like so because this was really really important i mentioned this in the in the talk as well um, you want to have one second you want to have the mask work here below like to mask everything out here right if you don't do it if you use the alpha channel and uh, i guess the texture just has none then you will see that you don't mask out the border like so right but we want to have this also by the way you don't need the texture for this you can just grab a gradient uh, a linear gradient or even uh, this coordinate expression and mask out the G or uh, mask out the, the, the R which will get you some uh, I always do this wrong I always make it an make it a parameter uh, here convert to parameter you have to do a preview and then you get this one and I mean it's it's start away around so we invert it so now we have the gradient here come on it always takes a little okay like so then you don't use the texture you don't waste the texture but okay i mean it's it's how, however you prefer so okay um now we have uh we have the masks ready and we can feed the data in our in our flame but you will notice that it still does not look perfect. Um, at this point here, I would uh, uh, recommend using a multiply node to be able to adjust the, the strength of the distortion, like for example, like dot five or something. So we can adjust how strongly they are, um, they are uh, distorted. And let me compile this and see if it if it works like so okay and this is uh, already better right um, this almost looks pretty good we can have a stronger distortion here for example let's see how this looks for us always takes a little time like so but now still we have the problem of the the black holes in between right and this is because you set your texture to um, tiled and not to clamped if you set your texture here to clamp and here as well then you have um you know have a better version and these uh, these holes in your flame shouldn't appear 
Just have to hit apply again. I don't know why, why it's not automatically compiling here. Uh, usually, oh, may, maybe I have to um, make the live update here, like so. Uh, okay, now we have this. And now we see um, something I also talked about in the talk, that the uh, flame is burning to the left and we don't want this. And therefore you have to um, split your coordinates here into the G and here into the B or U and V, however you want to call it. And only add your distortion to the G because you only want to distort um, upwards basically and not to the sides. So we can make it like so and so. Let's see if the live update works now. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Then I hit apply. Um, so one second. Okay. And now we got this. And um, maybe the strength is a little bit too much now. Let's go down a bit. Uh, I guess the, you could tweak your mask a little bit to make this work better. Also, you can adjust the size of the, the tiling of your structure to uh, don't have it as noisy as it is right now. Yeah, uh, but you, you get the idea, right? And uh, just as a note, when you don't use the gradient here, when you don't do this like it was before, let's make it like so. Then you see what's happening. Uh, the fire burns, burns way too much into the into the high into the uh, V coordinate. No, actually nothing happens because I multiply with zero here. Let's input the one so that something something is uh, going into it. And then one second, it looks like like this okay and we don't want this so this is why you you want to mask out this structure okay yeah basically you have it now i mean you can play around with that um yeah i hope this helps you uh yeah uh, so basically uh don't um don't mask out the uvs directly mask out your structure and add it to the uvs then also set the texture to clamp also add your distortion stuff only to one channel and not both i mean except you want to have the uh, fire burning to the to the right and if you want you can um you can use a gradient here and by the way i didn't uh, talk about this in the, in the in the talk but basically you could just paint this gradient just right in here into this texture um i don't know felix didn't do this i guess it was because of the iterative workflow he used and then yeah, he just forgot about it or something but basically you can add the, um, the gradient just here and then you save a little bit of texture memory um, so yeah everything should be fine then and like i said uh, when you when you use here let's test this out when we use smaller values here you could you should uh, get yeah bigger bigger fire chunks but let's see how this looks yeah i mean okay it burns pretty fast now but you get the idea right now uh, you have uh, bigger chunks and not as as much small noise going going away okay i hope this helped uh, i will save this here and copy you the um, um, the source code of this material as well into the email but uh, yeah maybe maybe this video helped a little bit okay have fun